Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Just going out today to some of my uh, my private ground and gonna do a little look around for sheds, maybe put a uh, set up, uh, I'm not sure yet. I don't have anybody with me to help or anything, which usually isn't a big deal, but it's just February. So I'm hoping maybe like my dad or someone could come down and uh, help me with on a weekend putting, putting uh, sets up. Uh, instead of me fumbling around with everything by myself, it takes like three times longer with, with just one people, one person than it would with uh, just uh, two people, um, just for shooting lanes and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> called an audible on the way here. Uh, oh, that's too bright. So, called an audible on the way to my private spot and there's a swamp on the way here that is really kind of hard to get to especially when the water's up but I'm gonna walk back in this swamp and see if I can get to it uh, I think I'm gonna have to abort mission here the water's too high this all floods down here in this low land and it can be feet deep so there's a creek back there too that floods which i'm sure it's probably six feet deep oh well seems like they got a lot more rain here than what uh we did back at the at the house even though we're only 20 minutes down the road so this is a uh farm I can hunt that actually has some really big deer on it <laughs> at any given time um, seems like it's mostly crop fields as you can see behind me um, seems like when the crops are in the deer are here when the crops are gone deer are gone and the bad part is which it is it is what it is um, it's better for farming but they always till up after they're they're done planting so um, I don't, the deer usually don't have much of a reason to be in these crop fields. They've done some work on the timber in here for some reason. I don't know if they just cut some trees down. Yeah. Maybe they're worried about them falling on uh, the fences, fence here. So, <clears throat> they seem to like to cross right here for some reason. And you can even see on this fence, they like to, there's some hair on it. I don't know exactly why they crossed right here. Um, but I saw a bunch of them cross right here this year. I was sitting down here and you can see it's a pretty good path right through there. And there's some rubs back in there. So this year, what I'm going to do, I think it's going to set a tree with my saddle and that pine tree right there that and then hopefully that will give me a better shot at these deer coming up through here because then you could hunt this on a west wind or north wind even which is primarily what we get which would just blow your scent back in there yeah i think that's what i'm going to do and then i may put a trail camera up on that tree right there i need to put it high though because freaking people still crap all the time in this farm especially in this area right here That's one of the reasons I'm going to a saddle this next year on my private ground, because I think people are gonna be less likely to steal, you know, sticks or um, screw in steps compared to pulling down a tree stand, which I do see my tree stand right there. It's still there, which is a good thing. You can see in here, inside this woods, how big these, rubs are here that one's about waist high so it's a good spot we're going on a walk are you ready Huck Wayne is that wind cold oh goodness
pretty cold. My ears kind of cold. From the wind. Are you cold, buddy? Are you cold? We had to cut it short because it was uh, windier than we thought. Okay, so it is Sunday night. It's like nine o'clock. The baby and the wife go to bed and sometimes um, I don't sleep much anyway. So when I want to get something done, um, sometimes I just stay up and kind of pull a all nighter and just get it done. So that's what I'm doing tonight with this barn because look at this freaking place. Oh my gosh, it's just freaking a disaster. Look, this is the worst part too. This is my hunting uh, my hunting room. And look, boxes and bow cases and clothes and rattling antlers and boots and bullets and camera gear and just a bunch of crap laying everywhere. So, my goal tonight is to work until 2 or 3 in the morning and just knock this all out. Um, I don't know if I'll get it done, but if nothing else, I'm going to make some cool time lapses of it. I am not a very organized person. I'm trying to change that because I waste so much time looking for stuff. And uh, any more time is, is precious. And uh, um, I get so frustrated with myself for not being an organized person. So this is my system I set up. And I kind of got this from a Casey Neistat vlog. Um, I'll show you guys. So <clears throat> it's kind of a way of organizing a whole bunch of little stuff. and buy a bunch of boxes of any sort i got these like um harbor freight and home depot for i don't know four or five dollars a piece and uh you just start putting stuff in these boxes and you put stuff that are alike in the boxes so like um in here i have like staples and staples are kind of related to um you know measuring tools and rivet tools and and you know levels kind of related to measuring tools so that goes in that box and i move over to this box and those kind of have a relationship with what's in this box and that's like glue and scissors epoxy um carabiners and you know things that hold things together and then random safety stuff like dust mask and eye protection and and those are kind of related to this and this tape and strings and i got a bunch of tape and string so that's why uh it has its own box tape and string is kind of related to screws and i got all my screws in there and then more of the kind of the same same stuff and on and on so you know you know that if you're looking for um let's say you're looking for um glue and you see um tape and string you know you're pretty close so that glue's in this box so and that's the kind of thing i, I do the, the same thing here with um, nuts washers short bolts long bolts nails and then these are like brackets and uh zip ties and whatnot so i don't know We'll see how long I stay organized like that. Um, this freaking shelf was an absolute disaster, but I kind of got that organized now. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so this is my tools. This room over here though, that's the problem child for sure. So my hunting stuff is kind of uh, spilled out into my main barn here. And this is my hunting room. It's a disaster, but check this out. There. Much better. All right, so I'm going to go out for a quick evening shed hunt. Thanks to my sister. She came and watched the little one for a little bit before my wife got home. So it's like, uh, what, almost 4 o'clock right now. And since it gets dark so freaking early right now, I got a couple hours. Um, but I'm really ready for daylight savings time to switch over to springtime because uh, it's getting dark early. It's really crimping my style this time of year. It was, everybody was being quiet, man, because it was just a weird, weird deal. I was just in shock. I mean, it was embarrassing. Adjust it to where it's got your rest all the way down. Cam lock and a little rubber band that, like... I guess I grabbed 
that cord with a tree limb or something because I'm very rough on my good news forgot my freaking binoculars again <laughs> I switched between my truck and my van and I left the my binos in the van oh well and uh this is a place I really like to have binoculars because it's wide open, but I guess I'm just going to put the boots on the ground. All right, sorry it's raining. Or misting, I guess, but finally found one today. It's a good one too, I think. <clears throat> That's the big eight. Had him on camera a couple times this year. Let's see if we can find his match set somewhere. Hmm. That is a good feeling because that was a uh, a deer I was hoping to survive because I think it's going to be a good one next year. It makes me so happy. Okay, let's look for the other one. So I get asked <clears throat> from time to time, how do I find so many sheds? For one, you gotta look for them a lot. And I do some things when I'm out here shed hunting to like practice. I actually take like, if I find one, I'll just take it and I'll throw it. And like you can see, that one almost completely disappeared on me. And then I just walk up and really study how they're laying. And look at this one, this one you can't even see anymore. This happens all the time. But right there it is. You can kind of see how they're laying. Just gives you gets you a better eye. So I just kind of toss them, and and you can kind of see different angles of antlers, and just get an eye for it that way. Another shed hunting tip: antlers seem to glow a little better when it's overcast or drizzling rain or something like something like that. Um, seems like when it's shiny, everything's shining, and it's a little harder to to see the antlers. So. I have an easier time finding them in these CRP fields or these set-aside fields or corn fields when it's um, when the sun's not shining. I don't know if there's anything to that or not. It just seems like something I've noticed. Anytime it's anytime it's going to start raining or something, I go shed hunting. Um, something else I've noticed: I don't find a lot of sheds in food sources, which, as you can see out that way, that's a big corn field. Um, but where I do find them is like in these little bedding areas. Right next to food sources because what, what they'll do is they'll go out here in the, at night and they very well could drop their shed out there um, no question but uh, a lot of times <clears throat> in the middle of the night they seem to come into these little spots and just sit down for a while and chew their cud or or whatever and that's that's a lot of times where i'll find the sheds is wherever they're bedding down at night here so just something to think about something else to kind of note <clears throat> just because you found a deer shed like in this area here doesn't really mean that he's going to be here um, in October uh, per se. I did see this deer during the rut um, out in this cornfield chasing a doe, but all early season he was a mile down the road at another farm we could hunt um, along with I'm sure other properties around here. Okay, I think I'm going to give up on this side, the other side of the shed. It's getting late and I got to get home and get some chores done. So. Uh, man, it's hard for me to walk away from um, when I know there's one laying out here somewhere, but that's okay. I may get out here again and look around. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I know he's here. I got one one of his sides. That's, that's kind of good enough for me, really. Uh, it'd be nice to match him up, but oh well. Thanks for watching my vlogs, guys. I hope this one was um, entertaining, kind of a little bit of everything little family, a little, um, little bit of organization, and uh, of course, a little bit of shed hunting and scouting. So, see you guys on the next one.